Hi guys, welcome back to Wheel Monkey. In today's video, we're going to be looking at ceramic coating kits for your alloy wheels. Now, more and more companies are coming out with a DIY application ceramic kit for all different sorts of surfaces. You've got your windows, your paintwork, your wheels, so on and so forth. Even your interior, there's even a fabric line, I didn't even know you can do that. Um, so, I've been looking at this and thinking, right, I've never done it myself, so I thought I'd walk through the, uh, the process with you guys as a novice, so you're learning as I'm learning. So, I've looked at a couple of aspects when picking a kit. Price, availability, name, uh, and obviously easy use. The reason I'm looking at name is because I don't want to buy something that's never been heard of before because you'll just not be interested in it. So, the one I've picked is the Auto Finesse Caramics range. This is obviously the alloy wheel set. Costs about £30, which I thought, well, sensible, bearing in mind, at one time, to get a ceramic coating on, you'd have to pay a professional quite a lot of money to ceramic coat parts in car. So, I'm quite interested to see what this kit's like. So these are the wheels that are going to be ceramic coated. They're a set of polished Mercedes slab wheels. They're in no way perfect, but they'll do for the purpose of this demonstration. So, I'm going to go through instructions, I'm going to put some screenshots in the video per instruction, uh, and we'll get on with them, get them done. Auto finesse prep spray. So, give a little shake. It's said to apply this liberally. So, straight away I can smell um, CD cleaner. That's exactly what it smells like. If you used to have CD cleaners for your games and whatnot, you used to spray something very similar to this onto it in a very similar bottle. Uh, and then you put your CD in a machine and it'd buff uh, the whole face of the, of the CD and it smells exactly the same as that, so it might even be the same stuff. So, I think that's pretty much sprayed. Let's have a read. And wipe dry, so now I'm going to have to wipe this dry. It may take a while because I've thrown a lot on it. So, let's speed this up a little bit. So, liberal amount. I think that's a liberal amount. And working the cloth supply. So that's the first wheel all finished guys. It is a little bit shinier, I'll give you that. Um, but, of course, it's only a ceramic coat, it's not a polish, it's just a coating to go over whatever you've got. So if you haven't got any imperfections, you will just seal them in. So, according to instructions now, we're just going to do the exact same process on the other three. Um, and then we've got to leave the vehicle out of the elements for at least six hours. So, no direct sunlight, uh, no rain, no uh, mildew, if you leave it overnight, it can't be cold in the morning. What I'd say with this is do exactly what I've done and take the wheels off, leave it on axle stand and bring it inside, then you're guaranteed that six hours. If they're exposed to any sort of elements within that six hours, it's just not going to protect it. So I definitely recommend taking them off. They've now been left overnight, so that's much longer than the six hours that the instructions say. So, moment of truth, let's see what the beading's like. So, I've got some water. See if it sticks or not. 
Quite impressive, to be fair. Quite impressive. Obviously, once you wash the wheels, it'll now be really, really easy to work on. And you can definitely feel the difference. So much more smoother. I mean, the clock just glides. Definitely worth doing. Definitely recommend that kit. Really easy to use. Nice finish. Obviously, it does the job really well. There's no smears or anything. It's all just taking the walk straight out. Really happy with that finish. Well done, Alex Finesse. You've made a cracking, uh, cracking product there. Well happy.